<laughs> I'll never get his face out of my head as he's going like this. You're so good! We were all just like three dudes on the bathroom jizzing our pants going down a water slide. <laughs> I need to make it clear to you guys, as I always do, that I personally do not promote the use of either legal or illegal psychoactive substances. The purpose of this video is to educate and reduce harm through sharing my own story. I'm hoping that once you hear about my past experiences, you will no longer be curious to try these drugs for yourself, and you will be able to learn from my own past mistakes. According to YouTube's own community guidelines shown here, videos which intend to educate but do not glorify substance use are generally suitable for advertising. The following video does not glorify the use of drugs, is also not graphic since it does not show the consumption of any illegal substances. The following video is strictly educational. First of all, I'm going to briefly explain what NAS is for those of you watching who just don't have a clue. NAS, or nitrous oxide, is a euphoric disassociative drug among many other things. Now it's commonly consumed by filling it into a balloon and then huffing that balloon. A single dose will last anywhere from two to five minutes, but realistically five minutes probably never happens. In fact, a lot of people find NAS to be very lackluster. 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 Ma, the NOS is lackluster. Man, my accent's so terrible. I mean lackluster. However, when NOS is mixed with other substances, that is when people say its true colors come out. A lot of users state that when they take a hit of NOS at the peak of their acid trip, it can almost feel like a DMT. Well, blast off. Now, historically, nitrous oxide has been used by humans for, well, now it's been hundreds of years. It first saw recreational use back in Britain during what they would call laughing gas parties in the 1800s. And medically speaking, it's still used today, primarily in dentistry. They use it as an analgesic and an anesthetic. In fact, nitrous oxide is the only drug that my own daughter has consumed thanks to her good old dentist. Kind of felt good, didn't it? Yeah, this is real life. Stay in your seat. Thank you, dentist, for introducing my daughter to drugs at such a young age. Doing a great job out there. What is this happening to Now, considering that they do give it to kids at the dentist, it is widely believed to be a very safe compound. But as with pretty much everything and every drug in life, if people are going to use it in a dangerous way, or rather abuse it, then it can definitely become dangerous. Now, as for legality, it really does vary from place to place. In terms of where I live in Canada, it's completely legal. You can actually buy it on Amazon. And just for those of you who think I'm bullshitting, just hold on a sec while we go and check it out and read some of the reviews. It's an Amazon's choice. 420 Frank says, these are great for making whipped cream. Yup whipped cream. I certainly got a really fuzzy and tingling feeling from the excitement I had when I found out this product had arrived. Winking face. The taste of the whipped cream really sent me to space for a solid minute. <laughs> Stephen Bogus says, five stars, but it made me see many more. Four people found this helpful. <laughs> this is blowing my mind how these reviews are actually on Amazon. This just doesn't seem right. All right, so now I can tell you guys the actual story. Nitrous oxide was one of those substances which I really had no interest in trying. And without going into too much detail about the first time I tried it, it was just kind of bleh. I really didn't think much of it. I felt a little floaty. I felt like a little giggly, like I got a bit of a mood boost, but overall it just kind of sucked. I've actually only tried it twice in my life, but the second time we were also on MDMA. And this is really the only story that's worth telling. So let's just get right into it. We were in a hotel room. I was with a couple of friends and one of them is a huge fan of this stuff. It's his favorite thing to mix with everything. And he pulled out his little canisters and he was all like getting excited about it. And he told me that I had to try it. He was ranting and raving about how amazing the NOS was going to be mixed with the MDMA, and when you're in that state, you're much more susceptible to doing things that you just, yeah, would have said no to when sober, so of course we were all like, yeah, let's give it a try. Filled some in a balloon for me, gave it to me, told me to hold on to it. He gave our other friend one, and then he had one himself, so we're all just in a line in the bathroom, sitting down, holding our balloons. We got Opus <laughs> blasting, and... It was actually rather interesting. Once I took a hit of this balloon, this nitrous oxide, wow. I closed my eyes and I laid down and I felt this like 
Wow, 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 wow. And it's going in tune with the song that's building. And I actually kind of felt like I wasn't on the floor anymore. I felt like the floor was starting to lift like a giant water slide. And the music's picking up and my wah 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 is picking up and the water slide's lifting, 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 lifting. And then the music finally broke through. The buildup ended and it hit the bass drop. And I was just like, whoosh. I definitely noticed the disassociative properties a lot more with the combination because it made me feel like I was coming out of my body and just flying. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. And as I was coming back, I remember opening my eyes and looking over at my buddy, who, the, the guy who gave us the NOS, and he's got his teeth grid like this because you know MDMA gives you the jaw clench and he's like, you're so good. <laughs> I'll never get his face out of my head. Literally sounded like he was coming. He probably was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I don't blame him because that's how we all felt. We we were all just like three dudes on the bathroom jizzing our pants going down a water slide. <laughs> oh, see, they call it laughing gas and even just retelling this story makes me laugh. Um, <laughs> uh, but like I said, that's scary. I don't like making videos that even brush on any kind of drug being positive because I don't want someone to watch this and go out there and recreate the experience themselves. The reason why drugs that produce euphoria are bad for you is because you didn't have to work to get those good feelings. In life, you're rewarded, your brain rewards you for doing well. Taking a drug that just makes you feel good is a total mental hack of that whole system because no longer do you actually have to put any effort in to get the reward. You just pop this little pill or just Huff in this balloon and boom, instant euphoria, instant reward. And these just purely euphoric drugs should never be used by anybody who has an addictive, addictive, yeah, myself. They should not be used by people who are at risk like that. So I know this is a very long winded warning, but I do have to preface it by saying that because it was a good time. And that's kind of scary to me when something is a good time. Uh, that's when I take a step back and go, yeah, this was fun. I'm not doing that again because I liked it too much. Because we sat there, you know, after we came to, like a minute later, we were all like, let's do that again. And then we did it again. Same thing happened. Wah, 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 wah. And we put the same song on, same part. And it was just like a total reenactment of the first time. And there I was going whoosh down the water slide. Ah, and then my friends all like, so good. Yeah, let's do it again. Wah, 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 wah. And then whoosh down the water slide. Good. And then take it again, whoa, 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 whoosh, down the water, oh, good. Before I know it, we had probably gone through like five to eight canisters each. We, we did a lot. We might have even just gone through all of it. Maybe we would have kept going had there been some left because at this time I was under the, well, belief that it was pretty harmless. So in my mind, like I'm already on M, I'm thinking this isn't gonna hurt me. Why not just keep doing it? But that's definitely when things get dangerous, especially if you were consuming it the way we were, where you were just like <sighs> huffing into that balloon without getting any oxygen. Um, yeah, probably killed a few brain cells that night, guys. That's pretty much my story. There really wasn't any kind of a come down from it. I mean, maybe there was, but I didn't notice because obviously MDMA is going to have a much more debilitating come down than something like nitrous oxide. And definitely doing like at least five the night with the M gave me an instant headache for the rest of the roll, which wasn't fun. So there are negatives. It's not like it was just so good like the whole time. There was definite negatives to this experience. And I do have to say again, I cannot recommend that anyone tries this. I just thought this was an interesting video to make just considering how legal it is. A lot of people don't know that there is an actual drug that you can buy on Amazon. And we're not talking about rainforest plants or Hawaiian baby wood rose seeds or morning glory seeds. And I have a video on these coming out soon. But yeah, besides 
stuff like garden flowers. Like this is legal too. You can buy this uh, at any garden store. It's pretty shocking to me that there's a drug like NOS that you can just buy on Amazon. I'm sure in some places you can just walk into the store and buy it, which just kind of ties back in with this whole war on drugs being so silly. I mean, how come people deem some drugs okay, but others bad? You know what I'm also considering doing? A more in-depth video on NOS, like some kind of a live NOS experience. Considering you can just get it off Amazon, that would be a very easy video to make. I'm just not sure how YouTube would feel about that. That's probably something that I would reserve for my website, which is coming soon. I have been working on it. In case you're wondering why this stuff takes me so long, well, most YouTubers my size have a whole team. And if I had a team, oh my gosh, I would be able to get so much done. And I have said that I am hiring at least one or two people once the Patreon reaches the next goal. And we are so close right now. I think it's like 500 more dollars in pledges and we hit this milestone goal. So if you wanna help me get to that point, you should definitely check out our Patreon family and a big huge shout out and thank you to everyone who's supporting me on Patreon already. Besides hiring like professionals, I do want to get some editors to work with me on a continued basis. What would you call that? Some interns? Go to my About Me page, find my email, send me a message and let me know if you're interested in interning as an editor. Please only people who are serious apply. I'm looking for someone who can actually work personally with me. Like we'll have an office room and we'll work together. We'll have a schedule that we get together and do work on those days. I don't want to do this um, long distance shit. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, leave it a like, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys all in the next video.